Hello, today I'll be coding this loader. So we start with the radius of the circular part, which is going to be a large number because I like large numbers because then I can round up the results of computations and I don't have decimals, which are ugly. So the width of the view box is going to be, let's say, eight times the radius. The height of the, of the uh, view box is going to be half the width. So um, half the width. Um, the horizontal offset is going to be minus half the width. So x is minus half the width. And the vertical offset is minus half the height. OK, so now I can set my SVG view box. First off, I have the offsets x and y, and then the dimensions, the width and the height. And now I join this array with a space. Okay, now let's create the infinity. This is going to be a path with an infinity ID. Um, now the, the attribute. So move to. First off, the coordinates of uh, the tangent points. Uh, I'll consider the tangent at 45 degrees so that I simplify computations. So this means that the coordinate is going to be the radius over square root of 2. Um, two. And as I said, I round stuff up um, or down to the nearest thing. Okay, so now I'll be taking... Um, positive horizontally, negative um, vertically, uh, then I have an arc, and this arc is of radius r along both axes. Um, okay, no rotation, um, and then I have, it's more than half um, a circle, more than half a circle, and it goes clockwise. Um, and it goes to the symmetrical point with respect to the horizontal axis. So that's going to be um, both with plus. Okay, now I take this part and I'll just uh, copy it and tweak it. So I go on the other um, half, on the negative half horizontally. So these are going to be both with minus. That's going to be uh, with a zero. So um, yeah, this gives me the infinity shape. Now, the next thing I'll be doing for the SVG, I'll be setting some styles. So first off, it's going to be fill none. Um, stroke, um, let's make it something like this. Um, actually, make it a bit lighter. Okay. Um, stroke width. Let's say 8%. This should do it. Okay, and now I need to uh, close this cell path so that it looks better. Okay, now I'll also be setting a background. This is going to be, let's say, something like this. Okay, now uh, we'll be creating a copy. So a use copy. Of the infinity, infinity. Now, for my use, I set a stroke. Let's make it white. Okay. Now we'll be setting um, some dashes. So first off, we compute the total length of my infinity. So this is going to be. Uh, from here, I'm missing a quarter of the circle, and from here, I'm missing another quarter. So a quarter plus a quarter, that's going to be half. So out of two circles, I'm missing half. So I have uh, one and a half, 1.5, uh, times the length of a circle. And this is twice pi uh, times the radius. And now I need to add up the straight lines, and those are four times the radius plus four times the radius. Okay, and I can bring the radius out. So um, this means I just uh, multiply it with all of this. And this I can just uh, replace with uh, three. Okay, and of course, I round everything. Okay, actually, I'll just do round it up, really. Now, for my dash, 
this is going to be just half a circle. So um, pi times the radius. So this is my dash. Now stroke dash array. Um, first off, I have my dash. And then I have the difference between the total length and the dash. Okay, um, though to be fair, I don't think it really matters, but whatever. Uh, now, stroke dash offset. Um, uh, this is, and here I need to interpolate. Uh, and uh, because I want a pixel value, because otherwise it's not going to work in Edge. If I leave it unitless, it won't work in Edge. So, stroke line cap round, just to prettify stuff. Okay, it looks a lot nicer now. Let's uh, minimize the JS because I won't be using it. I won't have any JS. So, um, keyframes. Uh, animation and I go to stroke dash offset um, and zero pixels. Now for my animation, linear infinite. This uh, should now start animating and it does. Okay, now a bit of pretty fine around here. So, um, max width, let's say 25 ends, something like that. Now, um, HTML, let's set the background here. Um, this is going to be something like this, should be good enough. Um, let's put the SVG in the middle. So this puts the SVG in the middle horizontally. Now something else, box shadow, um, no, not inset. And as for the offsets, I'll be setting two pixels and then five pixels for the blur. Okay, and one more thing, a border radius. And yeah, this uh, does it. I now have that uh, loader animation. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to put out more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. You can do it with a donation or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. The links for all of this are in the description below. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because this is just, look, just 20 lines of CSS and this compiles to something like five lines of uh, SVG, four lines of SVG, which is, I think it's pretty damn cool to get uh, this effect with so little code. In any event, thanks for watching.